Uh, Vinny Rutino. Uh, Vinny played baseball for me for a number of years. I remember uh, watching him at St. Catharines and uh, quite a soccer player also. And uh, Vinny just, uh, uh, he just did something for me. When I see a ball player, it's easy enough to see somebody who has a passion for the game and a love of the game. And uh, Vinny went to lacrosse and did a tremendous job at lacrosse. And uh, it was his senior year, it looked like he was gonna be drafted. Uh, he was told by a number of scouts that he was going to be picked up and drafted. And uh, actually, he was told to stand by the phone. And it was going to ring. Somebody was going to sign him. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Vinny came back, lucky for me in a way, and played baseball for my Qantas baseball team. Did extremely well. But uh, I could see, and mainly my wife Marlene could see, because Vinny and Marlene were very close, that his heart just wasn't in it. And uh, Vinny and I had a talk one day and he just realized and said to me that, you know, coach, I, I just, you know, I think his heart was broken. So I got on the horn at that time, I scouted and I uh, got on the horn and, and called a number of ball players, or not ball players, but coaches and so on and scouts that I knew. One was um, Mr. Keen, Harvey Keen in, in Milwaukee. And uh, we had four or five tryouts set up with him out in Arizona. Uh, the last one being with San Diego, and at that time I knew the San Diego scout real well, and they needed a shortstop, thinking that that's where Vinny would end up. Uh, the first couple of days out in Arizona, Arizona uh, the Brewers looked at him and really liked him. Uh, he called home and he said, Coach, what should I do? And I said, Vinny, you know, that one's up to you. And uh, Vinny decided to sign with the Brewers, and uh, the rest of the story is there. I mean, he played baseball for a number of different teams, went to Japan and played, went to Korea and played, and uh, now was on television with the program. And, and uh, one, one thing that did happen with Vinny is uh, he became a catcher. And, and Scott Brooks, who I think is probably one of the best catchers, if not the best catchers, catcher ever out of Racine, worked with Vinny. And I mean, we worked, they worked together forever and ever and ever. I mean, pitching to him, throwing the ball in front of him, uh, pitching to him out of our batting cage. I mean, uh, he became a hell of a catcher. He just really, really did. And it was a wonderful experiment that actually grew into probably him playing baseball. So thank you very much.